Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Stormforce Saga of Survival. I am Red Dragon and today I'm going to show you how I get this kind of loot. So I have pretty much just done two chieftain strongholds, which are this one here and this one here. And I've gone straight from my base, as you can see. And today I'm going to just try to explain how I do this and how I get this kind of loot. So this is everything that I've received from these two chieftains and I started off with one crossbow um, I started off with two pyro rings and um, one of these um, long swords which is right there this one right here and which I pretty much got from a chieftains before alright so I'm gonna go back to my base and I'm gonna restock and then drop off some stuff and we're gonna go through two um, chieftains and I'm gonna show you how I do it and how to get good loot. Okay, so I'll see you back in a second. All right guys, we're back. Um, so look, I'm gonna do this with the bare minimum today. Um, I have pretty much, I've crafted this tunic here but everything else is just scraps that I've found during uh, raiding other maps and stuff like that. I am going to only use a cruel bludgeon. Um, I'm going to use one of these long swords for the stone building, um, which I found in this exact map or the chieftains, as you would say. And I'm going to use a pyro many pyromancer ring. Um, so this does work with. Um, I have two stars on it, uh, which is a benefit. But this will also work with um, just a normal pyromancer ring um, without any problems. Um, as you can see, I'm not bringing anything else except for some food, which is necessary, and some liquids, which you'll need for um, your strength as or to replenish as you destroy walls. <coughs> so hopefully I can show you some good loot and how to do it um, without any problems. I think you will need a requirement of level 33 for the cruel bludgeon. Um, and 25 for the pyromancer ring. So first of all, you want you want to get your bearings. So you want to you want to find out what map you're on. You have several different maps for this. Um, so right now I can tell you I'm pretty sure the grotto is right here. Yep, and there'll be a bear just under me. So you want to go back this way. Uh, in this map, I'm not going to do the grotto, but I'm going to show you how you can get around the grotto. So we're just going to evade most, <coughs> evade most of these people. And we're going to move down this little section here. So these goblins, pretty easy to deal with. Um, one hit with a pyromancer ring. Just sneak and attack. That's all you need to do. You're going to have this uh, palisade here. With a bear and some spiders so I didn't check my curse which is quite stupid of me but what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw this bear out and then we're gonna deal with the spiders later okay so just bring him up here let him attack you and run back down and sneak and he'll stay there so these spiders will be about two or three hits with a pyromancer ring Oh my gosh, and he's gonna chase me. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do with these guys first just to make it easier. So they're one hit each. And we'll drag this bear up here. Come on, big bear. He'll attack once. We'll do the same method, run down, crouch, and he'll stay there. Go back to this spider, that's the last hit, and he's done. So inside here we're going to have a wooden building and a stone building, which we want to target. So same thing, you're just going to keep repeating the process. You're just going to sneak, attack, retreat, sneak, attack again. Um, so you're going to get to this building here, try to try to familiarize with the, the maps. 
this guy here, I think that's a tannery just here. Doesn't really have anything good in it, but hopefully we get something um, to heal our curse. Okay, nothing I really need. We're going to swap over to the Cruel Bludgeon. And we're going to take out this ward just here. So in here there should be one or two goblins or goblin leaders. And you have that nice chest right there. Which could contain weapons or um, elm, elm logs, elm planks, anything that you're really after. So in this building, I don't really worry if anything else, I just pretty much go for this one uh, room right here, which unless you're looking for sinew is not really good for me, but I'm going to take these heels and we're going to move on to the next building. Swap back over to your, your ring and you just want to make sure you clear most of these monsters here, right? because the worst thing that can happen is they trap you and you're kind of stuck and you're going to take a lot of damage and that's not what you really want. So it's quite easy. Just keep following the same process and take your time. Most importantly, take your time. don't really need to deal with these guys here um, unless you're going for fresh herbs which you normally find in here um, I like to do it just in case they do come back and attack me and you can even drag the bear up there now so there's a, there's another bear just down here to the right of me um, you can drag him up there if you want and just store him there we're gonna eat these We have some goblins down here, they're easy done, Just sometimes it's a bit hard to lock onto them, and then that's the bear, come on big guy. So like I said before, we're going to bring him up here, let him hit us once, run back down, crouch, so easy. I'm going to run over here so the bear doesn't come back. Heal up and then move into this territory here. So you normally get some hardy soups in here if you're lucky. <coughs> That's all you're really looking for here. Yep, hardy soups. And hopefully in here we get something good. <clears throat> so what I'm looking for is clay bricks, media bars, or steel. That's what I, I would like to get from here. And we've got some steel. Nice. So we've got one spider here. And there should be two more down the side of the next building. Which are just here. Alright, so you've got another wooden building here. This is pretty good. You have a nice chest in the middle of this. So you can attack from any of the sides, just don't attack from the door. Um, because at the door there is a guardian spirit who will do damage to you. But if you attack from, this is probably the best spot to attack from. Um, just so you don't get any damage taken to you. Or any damage inflicted upon you, I should say. And this chest here normally has a good um, drop rate of weapons and good armor. Oh man, it seems like every time I try to make a video, um, I get very unlucky with <laughs> drops, like w weapon drops and stuff like that. Alright, so it's goblin done. And you want to hit this building here. 
This will have another chest inside. So that's what I'm using this sword for and you can find these throughout these maps. So inside here you have um, some traps you have to deal with, Wardens of Pain. So you can just quick, quite easily take care of these. If you want to conserve your, your weapon, change over to the Cruel Bludgeon and then take care of this one. But yeah, as you can see it's a lot less uh, damage so you will incur um, more damage upon yourself. Alright, so just go to this corner and then go down there. That way the next two won't attack you. And you should be able to get this loot quite easily actually. Wow, look at that. So that morning star, pretty bad shape, but that's good for stone walls. And look at that, that's a pole axe. Beautiful. So we're going to use these here to rehydrate. And then look guys, you know what? The best way to get out of this, for me, so I don't have to go back through everything, is just exit the game and then reopen the game. And then look at that. We are going to go straight back to the main menu and we can move straight back on without having to deal with anyone on the way out and it's a lot faster for us so now we're going to run down here and hopefully we get some better loot I'm just going to store some of this stuff so I'm going to put these over here I'm going to keep those for later put this there see you can go there yeah, I'm going to keep those So as you see, I haven't really taken much uh, damage on my armor, so that's pretty good. Alright, so same thing again, we're going to try to figure out what map we are on. Um, I'm going to use this uh, pyro ring. So we've got some golems here. And normally, just by going down this uh, this side here, you can normally tell which map you're on. So I can tell straight away we, we are either on the same map or we're on a different map, which is pretty similar. And we're on a different map this time. So you have a building here. You don't really need to raid this building <coughs> as you don't really get much good stuff inside. But if you wanted to raid that building, you would have two goblins inside, um, which are quite easy to deal with. We've got a spider coming up the back here. We're just going to deal with him. He's trying to sneak attack us. Well, just let those guys out by accident. Alright, back to it. A good trick as well, when you break this, just run. That way the other guy won't attack you and you can come back and sneak in. Alright, so now we're going to pretty much do the exact same thing. We're going to target the buildings that we want to target to get the best loot. We're not going to go out and kill everyone, we're just going to kill whoever we need to kill to get to where we need to get. Okay, so just here there's a wooden building and we want to target this spot right here. This is the magic spot. So right when you break this uh, window, there will be a, um, a large chest that you want to get because that may potentially hold loot that you're after. So 
almost there. One more hit. And just there, that's, that's the box you're looking for. And look at that, that's some elm logs. It's one of the things we do come to this map for is elm, lo elm logs and elm uh, planks, which do drop here. I'm going to actually keep these because I'm going to show you a trick with the grotto. So you're just going to lock onto this guy, take him out quite easily. So you do have a, a building to the right of me down this section here that you probably want to uh, go to. There is, a <coughs> there is a nice chest in there, um, but you will have to deal with about three or four spiders just to get into there. So same thing again, this, this may drop um, resources that we need. So as we got there, we got two iron bars, which are good for building weapons. These will drop um, fresh herbs. This, you get um, hay for your horse. And we're just gonna go down here now. So you wanna take this palisade out here. That way the, um, the crossbow won't attack you. Just move straight through. Oh, I'm very unlucky. He did get me. I'm going to do the same thing here. We're just going to attack, move back, sneak, and attack again. Oh my gosh, I got too close. That's why we bring the hell. <clears throat> okay, so I think we have two more to go. And as you see, when you get to this building, you can tell there's a bear inside because you can see his head come out, which is quite funny. We'll just drag these guys up here so we can split them up. Come on, big guy. Giant spiders. All right, we're just going to deal with you. So you want to attack this one here, I believe, and there should be a chest right there. Oh my gosh, did you see that? <laughs> Had to destroy the, the wall twice. That's the first. And as you see, that bear can't attack you. Um, if you do get any closer than that, he can attack you. And look at that. We've got some fire cores. We've got some Mariana ores. And we've got some brimstone. Nice. And it's quite funny. If, if you drag him over here, he's like a mounted, um, a mounted beast on the wall. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to hit one more building. We're going to deal with this uh, goblin, whoops, and spider, actually no, we're going to hit two buildings, sorry. So we're going to, we're going to do another section of this wooden building, and then we're going to hit the stone building, and then we're going to hit the grottos, and I'm going to show you a trick there. So I am going to use this up because, no, I'm going to use this up. Okay. So I believe there's a small chest in here which is unguarded, which is what you're looking for. I have found a claymore in here in my previous match, uh, my previous realm. Um, so sometimes you do get some decent loot in here. And if you're looking for workbenches in, in the next uh, room over, there is workbenches inside this one here. But there will be two goblins in there that you'd have to deal with. So we're going to use these up. Just because I don't want to store them.
First, I gotta get rid of this spider. So easy done. Alright, so if you have um, weapons that break stone walls, I would suggest going through this way. That way you don't have to go through the grotto to get into this room. But if you do not, then you're kind of stuck going through the grotto um, just to enter this room here. Um, but if you can get through this room, um, through this wall right here, then you can actually access the grotto from this uh, room here. And you can actually sneak in and you can actually get the two chests without having to deal with all the undead. Let me just get attacked here. Um, which is really helpful. Um, I, I find it a bit of a benefit. I just got to get this guy out. Sometimes a little bit annoying um, trying to target monsters when you're around the buildings. Just because it's hard to lock onto them. Is done. We move back here. All right. Hopefully, I can get this. Uh, hopefully, I can get this wall open, and I can show you what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna run back. Alright, so you got these two here, there's nothing really good in there, I wouldn't really worry about it. You do have a wooden wall here, which you can quite easily break down with that cruel bludgeon. Uh, inside you will have two goblins and then you're going to have a, um, one bear. So we're going to deal with the goblins and then we're going to lead the bear out and then come back in. There's one there. Okay. One more here. Just get some heals and heal up. We're going to use that. Okay, we're going to grab this bear. So same thing like before, you just want to pretty much lead him out so you can access that part without having to deal with the bear. So take him up here, let him hit you, and run back and crouch. If you have boots on, you don't really need to crouch. You can get away with him without crouching. Um, but then we're going for this chest here. And my battery is dying. And look at that. That's another Elm Log, which we're kind of looking for at the moment. We've got some Barbarian Gloves. Um, some more sinew, we got some magic dust, and we got some oak logs. Oh man, there's a spider in here. How did you get in here? So if you didn't want to deal with this spider, you could quite easily just restart the game, and you would you would end up back uh, at the front screen. So I find sometimes when I do get stuck in a section, if I've got like three or four spiders and I can't escape, that's what I'll do, just so I can get around it. And man, that is a fire, rune of fire. This is the first time I actually found a rune of fire um, from a map. Normally these uh, rune tables won't actually drop anything. Uh, runes, runesmith tables don't actually drop it much, um, but sometimes you do get lucky like this. Wow. So I'm going to use these bandages and I'm just going to go in here. Just going to check my curse, make sure that's all right. Um, you do have these waters of pain here. Oh my gosh, this is a different map. So the grotto is, sometimes you have different maps. So I thought it was going to be the same map and <laughs> I am unlucky, it is not, no. All right, but I'm gonna sneak around these guys and hopefully I can show you the chest without dying. Okay, drag him up, let him hit you. 
run down here, hit, hit. And we're just going to crouch here. That was close. Oh my gosh. So now we're, we're on a sneak attack. <laughs> we're we're going to sneak around them. We're going to move up here for a chest up here. Oh my gosh, they're all just waiting there for me. Jesus. So we do have one chest here and we have another chest on the other side. Um, so hopefully we can sneak around and we can get to those without getting hit again. <laughs> so we got some more iron, some more magic dust and some more sinew. And we can do it. Yes. Alright, so we have to go down here through this. I'm just hoping they don't come down. Alright. So, unluckily in this map, we actually have to deal with the undead. But there is another map where you do have both chests in the top section where you can quite easily access um, without having to deal with most of the undead. Um, but I'm going to quickly do this, just check my time. Just so I can show you that last chest. And if you go straight down here, it should be down here. I'm going to change over to this and we're going to use a combo attack on these guys. So, one hit, two hits. So as, as you do progress, you do get better weapons, which will help you in these kind of situations um, where I can normally um, have uh, two combo on which will be a crossbow and a pyro ring or a crossbow and something and I can pretty much attack these guys without them even attacking me. So kill them before they can kill me. Alright so this guy is going to hit me, we're going to do the same thing, run and crouch. We've got one more guy down here. Just going to do the same thing again, just going to not drag him up as far. Oh my gosh. And we're going to deal with this guy. Jesus. Heal up. Pull him over again. Crouch. And he'll stay there. And now we got this chest. So, it <laughs> <that> is, <a, coughs> is a bit tricky with this game. It is a bit of finesse. Um, I do recommend check out some other guys videos there is so many guys making good content at the moment um, just so you can get around and learn how to do these maps and look at that Elm Plank beauty we've got some gold ore amazing um, so that's from two two runs from of the chieftains um, normally I do get a lot more weapons but I got some pretty good resources this time um, guys Hit the like, subscribe, let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know if you want to see something. I, I will try to make the content so I can teach you and show you guys how to be better at this game. Um, thank you for watching. If you do watch to the end, I appreciate it. And yeah, guys, thank you. Have a good day. See ya. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Also, I'm just going to exit. That's my beautiful dog there. Go back in. And I will be at the starting point so I don't have to deal with these guys again, um, which is pretty good benefit just so you can quickly get out of a, out of a map. Alright guys, take it easy. See ya.